I'm Virginia McGethy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting on the livestock market. Oh, a lot of crazy things happening today. Uh, cattle gapped down. It seems that the beef uh, joined uh, pork uh, on the Chinese tariffs list, and uh, that really sent the market tumbling. Uh, it, the market actually has been trending down since February 20th, and that was where its high was. And it seemed that the final jolt came uh, today when the, they announced that the, the, the beef was going to be on the list. Now, uh, it seems that there, you know, the, the market has already had some weak price. And, and interestingly enough, that the, the, it's a small beef market with China, uh, but they were hopeful that everything was going to increase after they had so many workings last year. Uh, so that definitely would put the, you know, the stopping on that for right now. So we're going to watch that a little bit closer. Uh, feeders were also lower, but they kind of came back. They opened lower and found some buying. It seemed that there was actually real strength in the beef and the, and the feeders. The fact that feeders didn't go all the way down and came back quickly uh, kind of was a little bit of a tell that uh, there was a rejection here and that the buyers were going to step in and this was a time to get on the, on the bargain wagon, uh, shall I say. So I think that uh, now it looks like the market might start to get a little bit of a strength that things have settled down. Even the stock market dropped 500 points and came all the way back. Uh, hogs were also mixed and it looks like that the tariff threats were already in the market and so there wasn't really anywhere to go and some buying came in. We're, we're hoping that just the disruption disruption in the pipeline with the pork uh, might make it interesting that if China decides not to buy anything from us, then that means that they're going to have more pork and they're going to have to go uh, somewhere else to try to sell it. And so in the cycle, we might still be able to find a little bit of headway to start to move some of our products. Uh, at that point, that hogs really started to rally a little bit. So maybe we found a bottom and maybe there's just too much information here to make it very difficult. But volatility is still ahead. That's all from the floor at the CME Group here in Chicago. I'm Virginia McGathy.